Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to the channel. It's day 247 on my journey to 2000 where I'll be uploading a video about chess every single day until I make it there. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord. Let's flip on some tunes and into the 10 minute pool we go. After yesterday's win, we're at 1882. And do not forget to go to fianchettoclub.com where for April only, you guys will be able to use code Kiwi for 20% off instead of 10% off. Help support me if you buy something. Help support them because they have sick chess inspired streetwear. All right, so we got the Alpin. I'm starting to play the Sicilian now, by the way. So that's exciting. That's an interesting idea. Can I just play this? I feel like I can just play that. But I don't know. All right, we're going to have more that we're able to review after this game. So that's always good. Man, I feel like D4 is just like, or D5 is just like calling my name for some reason. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Let's just go here. Let's just play it like a dragon. I don't know. like I'm supposed to take this feels like a threat so maybe I have to do this but that doesn't seem right either I think I'll just go here and if he pushes I just plant my knight into the center which is kind of like maybe transposing to kind of the main line now Yeah, I feel like just this. Hmm. I actually don't know what the move is supposed to be. If I go here, the problem is he just pushes the jeep on and my knight's getting chased around the entire board. And you can tell that I literally just don't know the moves here. Um, I'm going to go with this, though. I think he can just do this, though. Nope, maybe not. If he does that, I can just take. Okay, let's do this. D6 definitely feels like the vibe here soon. Specifically right now. I'm excited to learn more about the Sicilian. I really am. I think it's a very beautiful opening. I mean, is that not just like a free pawn? Is that too dubious for me to take? Maybe I develop a piece first and then take it? No, because then the queen might be able to defend that square. Let's take it. I don't know, maybe this is really stupid. Let's go back. <laughs> oh, 
Um, I can just push. Push. Knight to the center. Oh my god, I just hung my queen. Oh my god, I just hung my queen. Wow. Um, I don't know if I should resign or not. I feel like I probably should. Wow. That's embarrassing, man. That's really embarrassing. That's crazy. Wow, that's insane. Guys, don't freak out, but I can win a pawn right now. I feel like I really should just resign, but... You can just take, you can just sack the rook. And then this bishop gets in and I'm completely mated. Wow, he doesn't see it. Um... Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I hung my queen. That's so funny. I'm like, not even upset. <laughs> I'm like, not even upset. That's the funniest part about it. Maybe that's not funny at all. Who knows? Um, I don't know. I think we just have to hang the knight. I mean, I should just resign. Uh <sighs> Technically, this only gives up a pawn, so I think that this is what I have to play. I mean, it, my king is infinitely weaker for it. Okay. Oh my god, it's a fork. Wow, alright. That's definitely resignable there. So I was actually better out of the opening. This is book. Here, let's look at the... There's no positions in the database. Ace, A6 was the best move. It did want there, but I did play the best continuation, best move. This is a mistake. I needed to jump in and try to dislodge the knight first the way that I did it. It's minus one. I needed to play this move first, but then queen e2, and then what? I have to go here? Yeah, defend the pawn. But yeah, I just straight up hung my queen, and then the rest was history. Let's play a second one. Wow, I lost 10 points for that, man. That sucks. Damn, that sucks. All right, we're going to try to play the Jobaba now. I'm officially over this hybrid situation where I don't play um, the Jobaba. I've been trying to learn it. I think it's a very, very hard opening to learn, honestly. I've been playing it a lot in Blitz, and I've been getting terrible positions. I mean, just like awful awful positions wow this guy's 1780 i stand to lose another 10 points that would suck all right so let's go here reinforcing this knight and then i'm going to go here to kick him kick him out and then of course the idea is um you know if he goes back he traps his bishop the hell that is such a weird move all right let's go here Okay, but I don't, I don't mind is the thing. Okay, so he wants that pawn. Let's not give him that pawn. 
He can just defend his knight a million ways here. I can kick the knight out. This is what I mean, just kind of like... Definitely just kind of getting bad positions here. I should probably castle before I get myself into too much trouble. I'm thinking about this move. Trying to crack open the center because I'm, I'm much further ahead in development. And obviously if he takes, then the knight hangs. Um, so that is not a free... That is not free, so... Um, if I go here, then he goes here. Then I have a check. So maybe I'll set the trap a little bit here. Yeah. That check's pretty good. Oh man, pretty rough, man. Pretty rough that first game. I can't believe I hung my queen. It's not very often that you get the opportunity to hang your queen. But hey, if anybody can do it, Kiwi can do it. I think he might take that, to be honest. But like I said, that it's very funny because that first game honestly like didn't even upset me. I just like, you know how sometimes you just kind of, I don't know, screw up. It just happens, you know. Okay, let's go here. I want to crack it open. I do, I do. And if he lets me take, then I'm going to go here again. He does unfortunately always have a way out with his knight by taking that bishop. Okay, that hangs a pawn. Um, is it safe to take that? I probably want to take here first, to be honest. I don't think pushing is a good idea. Hmm. That pawn is very scary to take. I think I need to break the center open. I do, I do. I do, I do. Got to notice this alignment. If there's any way for me to facilitate Bishop here, then that's going to be pretty good for us. Obviously. I mean, like, I feel like I just got to crack it all open, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trying to notice the squares that his knights are controlling. The queen moves. This could be devastating. I want to bring my other rook here, like really badly. Because I have some ideas of like stepping out of the way with my queen. Wow. Interesting, are you for real? I mean, this move just threatens this right off the bat now, because this knight covers. This knight is just like... Kind of killing me right now. 
So do I double? No, I think that this is better for now. Okay, so he does finally take... Let's go here. I have ideas to like. Okay, that's an interesting idea. I don't know why he's trying to trade all the pieces. That doesn't seem very great to me. So if I go here, rook d4, rook d4, pawn d4, knight, knight e4, his knight, his rook is hanging, so like, he can't take, basically. That is a crazy move. If I take, he takes here. Right? That's the idea. Whoa. And if I take here, this is a check. I think this move has to be played. Because if I take there, he takes here, and then my queen is hanging. So if I take, he takes my queen, and now I'm up. I only have a rook for the queen. No, I have both. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. One rook for the queen. Yeah, I think that this move has to be played. I do. I do, I do. If he takes, I think I have to take with the queen. I don't want to give him access to the back rank. Okay. Hitting my rook as well. Very nice move by my opponent. If I go here, he gives checks on the back rank. But now that feels less bad, to be honest. Let's go here. Let's keep, let's not keep in mind his knight is still hanging. His 2-1-0 on the, on the queen side is going to be a big problem for me in the end game. This guy is very strong.
Duh, don't play that. Dumbo. I really don't want to move my bishop. That just hangs the rook. Oh my god, this guy's position is amazing right now. Like, he just... Like, I just have no moves. I just have no moves. Crazy. I don't think that I can trade into any kind of an endgame right now. Do I have this move to try to go here? Or am I just getting my pieces tied up? No, because his knight covers that square now. I think going for the pawn. He can just push it one square. I just don't really feel like I have very many moves at the moment. Very unfortunately for me. Very happy that my bishop covers this square. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's just bring this bad boy back and over, I think. I don't know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh my God, leave me alone. Does that force it? Oh my God. Oh my God. What a move. What? Just in the center of the board, just forcing a queen trade. Oh my god. I, I can't trade queens. I can't. I, it's... I lose immediately if I trade queens. Like, literally immediately. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Okay. Interfere with a knight maybe?
Yeah, I mean, that's insane. This is such a complicated position, man. I feel like he has to have some sort of tactic. He can't push this, he can push this, then he goes here. Oh no, he can push this. I think he can play h5. There's no way he doesn't find that. H5, do I just go here? Takes, 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 takes. No, I just, I'm down, I'm down. I'll take that. He wanted me to blunder there at the end. Wow, that was... Dude, that guy was... That's a strong player right there. That is a strong, strong player. I lost it at the end. I, I blundered a draw. Yeah, with this. Because... Yeah, because H5. Wow. Okay. So this is all... I mean, like, not, not this, but... Going... Um, going E3 is in my course here. All right, let's, uh, let's go back. Courses. Opening tree. So, like, this is... D4, D5. All this stuff. Well, I guess that's not exactly what he did, is it? So, let's go all the way back. It was... Yeah. Sorry, there's... Oh, buy my merch. Um, he went... Here, then here, then here. Oh, whatever. A little bit changed move order, but yeah, E3 is the the prep here. And then looks like the course looks at Knight into the center, Bishop takes castles. I mean like no there's no B6, but I know that after like you know 94 let's say the main move yeah 92 is what we're supposed to play and life goes on um so we did just have a better position here oh wow just pin it and then we go here probably now d2 so that way he doesn't get another tempo on the queen no d3 d3 Knight d5, this, no, bishop e5, threatening this before we come back, f6, bishop g3, knight c6, blocking that diagonal, and then we probably just go with c4, yeah, and this is just a, that's a very dominant position, so that's a miss because of this, and now we have this check, and it actually wanted us to give up our dark square bishop for this knight, which would have made a lot of sense, because if Takes, takes, to, yeah, like that's a check, first and foremost. I didn't even notice that that's a check, because the king isn't normally on f8. Um, so yeah, this was this was all very good for us. Taking was a mistake. I thought that opening these lines would be sick for us. Okay, and then doubling was better. This actually blundered our advantage. So, another move could have been to take. Really? What about this? Queen c4. Defending, okay. Defending the rook. Hitting the knight a second time. He has no checks because the bishop covers. That bishop really came in clutch. And now it's minus, that's minus one and a half. I mean, look at that move, man. Queen d3 was like a hell of a move. And now we found this, and then this, and I needed to go here. 
I saw this move from a distance. I think I saw it after I took the pawn, though. And then his best move is this check, and then we undoubtedly take with the bishop. Don't blunder the game. Um, If he takes this with the queen, then we take this. And if he takes this, that's fine. We'll just take... Um, probably... Either one is fine. It's actually saying to give a check first. And then take it. So then, yeah, that's just a blunder. And then, I think he was thinking that... I don't... I think he was just mad that he blundered his queen. But hey, you know. I hang my queen. This guy hangs his queen. The ecosystem. You know. The circle of life. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Today was pretty contentious, honestly. I can't believe that I lost 10 points to the first guy. And then this guy was a lot lower than me, so I only got like six points back. So I'm at 1878, but we'll get back to 1900 whenever we get there, man. I don't even care, to be honest. Like, I want to learn these new openings. I want to improve my tactics. I want to get better at chess and... I feel like I'm really close to being able to call myself decent at chess. And uh, that's, that's what's most important to me. And also, fun fact, I broke my pinky at the gym. Fun fact. All right, guys. Thanks. I'll see you later.